Hi Hexagon, and welcome to this Inspire Training video. Today, we're going to discuss Quick Alignment. First, inside of the software, I'm going to navigate to my File Explorer, select my CAD model, and drag and drop it into the main graphical view. I can now verify the CAD model is correct by rotating it in the main graphical view. And then I'm going to go to Alignment, and then I'm going to select on Create Quick Alignment. Once this option is selected, I can now click off surface points located on my CAD model that clock in my six degrees of freedom for my X, Y, and Z values. Get one located on the side right here. Make a point on top. Locate one right here. And now I'm gonna do one more. I only need a minimum of six. I'm going to press enter and now the hard point one becomes the active measurement target and I can start measuring those features. Now I'm going to take the absolute arm, place my probe in that location on my part in front of me, and then it's going to collect that measurement data. Next I'm going to go to the hard point two and where I see it on my part. I'm going to go to three and now that I have three points the software tries to determine where this part is located in space. If I disable the instrument camera view, I now have the ability to keep my part static in the main graphical view. So now we can see my red probe appear, and I'm gonna place it in the fourth location, go to hard point five, and I'll do hard point six, and then now I'm going to go to hard point seven. I can add additional points here, or I can swipe right to complete. Now I can expand the properties located in the tree of the quick alignment to see nominal, actual, or the instruments used. I can navigate to the properties, expand the details down to see the high deviations of the points acquired, and I can also enable vectors. So now I'm gonna to navigate to the tree. I'm gonna expand my actual down, and I'm gonna open the properties for my hard point one. Inside of here, I have the ability to add under the input buckets, enable guidance. This gives me the ability to set a percent within the nominal. I can auto trigger the measurement and I can restrict it to the envelope. Once I select to remeasure, we can now see our probe is located and going towards that location and it's going to automatically trigger the measurement. Once this is complete, I can now go back to the properties of my Quick Alignment 1, and I can see now the alignment has updated. This gives me the ability to go through and see additional points that could be outside of the zone of tolerance that I have specified. I can now also go to Hard Point 2 and apply the same settings. I'm going to go through and I'm going to auto trigger the measurement. I'm going to restrict my envelope now to one millimeter. I'm going to click on Remeasure. So this erases the previous measured data. And now I can physically take the probe and go to that location. And as soon as I'm within that zone tolerance, it will automatically trigger the measurement. As I decrease the size of the guidance zone, it is going to be harder to actually trigger that measurement. Once I'm complete with that, I can now hit Escape on the keyboard or continuously swiping right on my instrument until I reach the end of the actions playlist. I'm gonna go back to the quick alignment one, open the properties, and then now we can see the alignment has updated again. Inside of here, I'm gonna go through and I'm going to add the labels to my vectors, and then I'm just gonna increase the size of those. Now that this alignment is complete, I can measure additional features. Thank you for watching, and we hope you were inspired.